Okay, so um, this is how you do your prediction. It's okay to use Lee. We predict the larger the mass of the pendulum used to accelerate the bowling ball, the less time it will take the ball to travel one meter. Okay, this expresses a relationship. You do need to write this part out, but let me show you um, kind of the another way. So let's say this is mass of the pendulum, and this is time it takes the bowling ball. Just put time of bowling ball. Okay, so as this goes up, more mass, you're going to have less time. All right, so let's relate these two. Time of the bowling ball. So this means related to or proportional to, just this sign. Now, if both of these had gone up, you would say that's directly proportional, and I could just write mass here. But you see how mass goes up and time goes down? This means that they are inversely related or inversely proportional. So what this says right here is that time takes the bowling ball to go a meter. Let's see, I'll put this right here. Time, bowling ball, mass of the pendulum. I should have put that up there earlier. Okay, uh, is inversely proportional. So that means as your mass of your pendulum goes up, the time will go down. So think about it. If like I had twice the mass of the pendulum, I would have two times, uh, yeah, twice the mass of the pendulum um, here would make it half the time. Just think about that. You hit something with like a bigger hammer or a bigger stick or heavier or more massive and it's going to go further. But also if you look at it, if I put a two in front of the mass right here, that makes this one half. So um, on your prediction, you might want to include something like this because it'll help you with the next step.